Good evening and welcome to you. If you are new, my name is Louise Pentland and I make videos on a Wednesday and Sunday about beauty, baby and lifestyle. If you are an oldie but goldie, come on in. You might be noticing that this is a much longer video than we would normally have for a Wednesday topic video, but that is because the week has taken an unexpected excellent turn. So if you're familiar with the setup, you will know that Sunday morning at 9am it's the new weekly and that is generally a much longer video, sort of between half an hour and an hour sometimes, um, just kind of vlog style, following me around for the day, me just chit chatting, very informal, very much a conversational piece if you will. And then Wednesday is a topic and I'll sit down and talk about a topic um, and that's generally what I put up. However, the weekend just gone, I went to Centre Parks with my family lamb and I vlogged it all. And I vlogged it all weekly style because I thought I'm going to make this the weekly video for Sunday. And then I went on Facebook and said, would you like that to be your weekly video or would you like a homey video because I'm just at home all week this week as your weekly and Centre Parks can be an extra bonus video. The overwhelming majority, very flatteringly, was that you would like three videos this week with this being the bonus one. So I was gonna put this up on Friday, but then I was like, Meh. then we'll have a long one on Friday and a longy on Sunday. That's two longies in a row and no one can take that much longy, even me. Uh, so I thought we would put this as Wednesday and then on Friday, it's gonna be this Wednesday one put onto Friday. And it's such a nice video. It's a total like feel good fluff piece that will make you want to spread love in the world. I hope that's, that's the vibe I'm going for with it. So. I'm going to upload this tonight and then film my little intro for Friday's video, probably with this setup. So you might be like, oh, same day, same clothes. And I hope that you enjoy this bonus longy because who, who doesn't want a bonus longy? There you go. Good morning. It is a new week. It's a new dawn. It's a new life for me and you and we're feeling good da 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 it's not the morning it's 4.44 um, and we are on our way to Elfton Centre Parks I'm so excited I've got doodles I've got poodles <laughs> um, and Liam's gone in to get some petrol so I thought I would start you off now we've just set off so we've got about two two and a half hours in the car but we're getting some supplies um, so I'll show you around the lodge I'll show you what we get up to my cousin is coming as well so there's my cousin Daniel and then his wife Becky and their children Evie and Dexter and it's perfect because Evie's the same age as Darcy Dexter is the same age as Pearl um, and then we love Dan and Becky so that works out so well, um, the same age as me. She's five. I mean six. And you're seven, so nearly the same age. Yeah, but I'm nearly eight. Okay, it ma it makes a big difference when you're. Is a year a big age gap? Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Off we go. We're singing. It's time. I've got that on camera. <laughs> True as it can be. can be. We are having a great time in the car. Any even friends, then somebody bends. You can't see her unexpectedly. Ready? Let's be alidocious, even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. If we say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious. Super califragilistic, let's be alidocious. In case you don't know, when you arrive at Centre Parks, you go through like a drive-through check-in, I think would be the best way to describe it, um, which I think is good because it adds a little element of security and makes sure that the people that say they're going to be in the lodges are the people in the lodges and also it means that once you're in, you're in and you can get unpacked and enjoy your holiday and you have to get out of the car, oh, which Pearl's probably quite glad of too because as you can see she is in a cheery mood, it's time for a bottle. So there's usually a little bit of a queue on a Friday night. Oh, pearly. Um, but down there, you can see that little bit there, that's where we're aiming for. We're nearly there, pearly. We're all checked in, and we've got our map, so now we've got to try and find our way to the lodge. Do you feel com confident with your instructions, Liam? Yes. 
Yep. <laughs> I have to say, I love that check-in system. You just sit in your car, talk through a window. This is the third time I've been to Centre Parks and I have always found that to be a good experience. They're all, the staff are always so friendly and helpful. Um, I ought to say now, at the very beginning of this vlog, this is not a sponsor vlog and we have not been gifted this trip. I have been gifted a trip before, twice before with Centre Parks actually, but I just loved those trips so much that I booked on, when did we book this? December time, I booked the trip and booked the lodge just the same way everyone else would using a website and my debit card. The one thing we have been gifted are the bikes because I contacted the PR guy at Centre Parks. I was like, oh hi, we'll come on to Centre Parks. He's like, oh hi, we will gift you some bikes. So, not sponsored. The bikes are gifted, the lodge is not gifted. If you have any questions about that, let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. So, we've parked up over there. These are the waterside lodges. This is the area that we've booked to stay in. And we are in 94 Sloop. Um, I wonder if these are gonna... Oh look, they're slowly turning on. They must be like motion censored. I'll film this again in the light. Oh, are you gonna turn on light? No, can't see anything. Oh, we're gonna have to get Liam to get his phone light on. Okay. Ta-da! Oh, they've changed the doors from last time, I think, because they were all glass last time, which is good because now you have some privacy. So, this is the entryway. Very big. Great for dumping all your stuff. Like so. Hello, my squishy. How was that journey for you? Good? It was okay. I found it a bit... I felt I was felt a bit bored, but oh. until you turned the exciting music on, oh, why is the lights? Why have the lights gone off? Oh, <laughs> right. Should we do a bit of a tour before the lights go off again? So this is to go downstairs, but but we're going to show you my bedroom. Okay, you show you the, your bedroom then. This is going to be Darcy and Evie's bedroom <laughs> in here. This is the AFT or the aft cabin. Beautiful wooden ceilings. And they've got the circular window there. And the gorgeous beds. Gorgeous beds. I love the nautical theme to it with the blueprints and all the cladding. This is lovely. And then this is the and girls' the bathroom. And this room has got a little TV in it. Ooh. And a nice little vanity unit with plugs underneath, which is great if you've got straighteners and a um, hairdryer. Oh, and there are wardrobes. Oh, oh yeah. wardrobe. So they have one at the top, a big one here for your clothes. Mm -hmm. They're like socks and knickers and Lovely. all that stuff. Just want to point out the towels, accommodation use only. You need to bring swim towels with you or I think you can hire them as well. Um, but we've packed oh, ours. Oh, okay. This is lovely to have a host. Oh, hang on a second. What's in here? <laughs> so just got a cupboard with a fan cupboard. and um, what's that called? A cart, etc. So, moving along, we have the port cabin. Liam's already come in here. So this is the bed in here again. It's got that really gorgeous nautical theme. I love all of this. In the summer, I've been in the summer, it is absolutely stunning because this looks out onto a lake. You'll have to wait till the morning um, to see. Oh, here we go. Little switchy there. And that's the ensuite for in here. Isn't that lovely? And then this. Oh, hi. Um, oh, such a shame that you can't see the view tonight. TV and vanity unit as well. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All of this. Aha, I found the light for out, of, out here. So this is the little balcony and this actually looks onto a bigger balcony which comes off the lounge. But we'll look more at this tomorrow in the daytime. Right, let's go and have a look at that room, but we'll go through this way. So this is going to be mine and Liam's room and this is the starboard cabin and it's really the same as the other one. I don't actually know if there's any differences at all except for the bathroom has a bath in it. So if you wanted to have a little soak you could. Um, really nice lots of space there so you can put his, his and hers like products out. Yeah let's go and have a look downstairs. 
I tell you what I really like about Centre Parts cabins and that is that everything is just made easy because they've thought about it like just little things like having tons and tons of pegs because we're gonna have eight people in this cabin like four ad uh, yeah four adults four children so that's gonna be really handy and having seats for the kids to sit on and put their shoes on and little things like there's stair gates at the top and bottom of all the stairs like little things like that make or break a holiday when you've got small children so I'm very happy with that let's go and have a look downstairs so we are coming from upstairs and this is the little staircase carrying on with the nautical theme there as well which I really like and the big circular like ship windows that's cute and again we've got the stair gate just here down here I think is a cupboard oh no it's a little loo to use have you got pearl with you yeah, yeah. and then in here oh this is locked so I'm assuming this is some sort of like utilities cupboard there's a sneak peek into the kitchen and then if you go through into the lounge you get a free doodles with every booking <laughs> so we've got some seating here with a nice little coffee table and then this is a bit of an overview of the whole of the living space big lovely sofas I've had a sleep on these sofas before they're good for little mummy naps lovely coffee table um, oh there's logs we booked this and part of our booking we got logs oh it says welcome to 94 have an excellent time cleaned by Stacy Thanks, Stacey. So when we booked in the package, it came with firewood and a grocery starter pack. So that's our firewood to put on the fire. Oh, or maybe it's not home fire log. Maybe that's to get it going and then that's to put on. I'm not gonna be touching the fire. Massive TV there, that is absolutely huge. Another little seating bit, armchair. Beautiful views, but I'll show you those tomorrow. Oh, they've even done two high chairs for us because we've got Dexter and Pearly. So we've got two high chairs. A massive space there for us all to eat and I've bought games for us to play doodles, I've bought Disney Pictionary, uh, more nautical stuff, this is nice, this is very home sense isn't it, um, another one of those and then this is our kitchen area, we love the tiles a lot, yeah you could? It's not all curved, at the back it's nice and smooth, oh. it doesn't hurt your back. Wow, that is a great chair. Thank you, Darcy. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. And then this is the grocery pack that we ordered. What does this say? It's just a nice little letter to confirm my stay. So in the grocery pack, you get the essentials, like washing up liquid, because that's something I've always thought you need to bring, but you don't if you get this pack. Some fruit, some biscuits, um, little tiny jams, bread, um, fizzy and normal water or wine. Thanks very much. And then in the fridge, you get some bacon and sausages. And oh, I love this butter. President butter is lovely. So, oh, milk and orange, which is great. We also bought some of our own stuff, but I'll show you that later. Um, mm, what's this? That's going to be a barbecue kit. We've got one of those at home. Um, all the cupboards. Do we have a dishwasher? Are you? Yes a dishwasher and a little Tassimo coffee machine um, yeah you've got everything you could need really what just cupboards there handy <laughs> are you being helpful getting all the stuff in doodles yeah, I'm just getting all the good are you being helpful steady steady oh, woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. A top tip for you that obviously wouldn't work if you were traveling not by car I just dumped all of my stuff in this washing basket as we were going because I couldn't, I couldn't be bothered to get my case out I was getting really frazzled I was like you know what I'll just shove you all in this and it's genius because it's gonna take me about three seconds to unpack everything because all my clothes are just stacked up in one pile so I'm just gonna pick them all up and put them all in here I haven't bought anything fancy with me I've just bought jumpers and jeans and then I put all my socks knickers and things like that in one of these doink lovely and then trainers can go in 
as well there's a little safe in there if you want to use it um what are you tech equipment so tech stuff i'm gonna put like so and that is me unpacked now we can save this for dirty washing throughout the stay and that will save it all getting contaminated with the clean stuff i feel like such a genius <laughs> look at her in her pajamas that are too big going on this little scuttle bug where are you going pearly where are you going you're good at that aren't you <laughs> you are good at that except you're about to go into a wall as you can see food wise we've packed all the essentials fruits fruits raspberries prosecco mini eggs crisps essentials right we're gonna make some food we actually thought ahead and bought some food with us as well as all these yummy snacky bits that we picked up ah pearly don't touch it all these yummy little snacky bits that we picked up we've also picked up darcy's a favorite pasta which is this one so we've got two packets of this <laughs> we're gonna boil this excuse me missus i don't know why i'm trying to hold a baby at the same time and we've got the arabiata sauce just there Got some essentials over here as well. Oh my goodness, let me put the baby down. That's what you wanted, isn't it? The milkies. This is the second time I've fed Pearl on this sofa. Stayed in not this lodge, but it's literally exactly the stage. It's the same, the stage is the same. Stayed in the one next door. Didn't we, when you were about three months old? That was a good trip, wasn't it, Doodles? Do remember when we came with Esther? It was fun. What are you doing over there, Scoochie? Got all the Play-Doh out. You found a new love for Play-Doh. What was it first? Those squishes, squishies. Yeah, kind of rubbish now. And Play-Doh's more fun. Yes, I much prefer Play-Doh. I'd rather spend my money on Play-Doh than those stupid squishies. They're like dog toys. We've just had some pasta. Well, I say just had. It took so long to settle Pearl. I think she knows that she's not in her usual like bedtime routine environment. So it took ages to settle Pearl. I've had a bit of pasta. I've had half a glass of Prosecco. I would have liked to have had the whole glass, but I've been up and down with both girls. I just settled Darcy down to bed and I was like, Evie's not going to be here till you're fast asleep. Evie's just arrived. So they're all going to come in. Um, I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to vlog tomorrow because I think that they have had a quite a journey with their two kids as well. So I'll see you in the morrow. Good morning to you. It is Saturday. The boys, the big boys, Liam and um, Daniel, I just totally forgot Daniel's name then, my own cousin's name, have gone to get the bikes with Darcy and Evie. Pearlie's down there licking the coffee table. Dex is, oh, Dex is over here. Da 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 da. Ta da! With Becky. Um, and it is a nice start. I woke up at nine o'clock. Everyone let me sleep in. Liam came up with a bacon sandwich. I watched The Crown, ate my sandwich, and then they let the kids in. And then it all began. But good morning so far, yes? Yep. Yes. Baby Pearl. Do, 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 do. Stood by the door, about to go out. Got Pearl already, Doss has already gone ahead to get the bikes. Got her little gloveys on, her thumb's not in here, I've just like shoved these on over the coat arms. And look down at my jeans. Oh, these are the jeans that are literally covered in yoghurt from Pearl climbing up with yoghurt hands. So I'm gonna have to kind of walk like this so that no one sees me. So me and my yoghurt thighs are all going out now to have a little look round. One second. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. We're going to go and have a little look around the complex, maybe play on the park, get some wiggles out, get my yoghurt thighs out. Oh, it's nice weather today. This is what it looks like from the side, because um, it was all dark yesterday, so you couldn't really see it. So all the cars are over there, and then this is what the lodge looks like during the day. And then down here is where the hot tub is. We all had a hot tub last night, which was so nice because there's not a lot of light pollution. So we were sat there and we turned these lights off and we could see all the stars. It was so pretty. And then also you can go down and there's a little jetty pontoon thing if you want to do fishing and this cupboard is full of fishing rods. I don't think I'm gonna be doing any fishing though, somehow. Are you excited? Should we go and find your sister? Shall we go and, oh, you're gonna have a good lick. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. Coziness awards are going to Dexter. <laughs> Pearly, are you jealous? Look how cosy he looks. He looks like a caterpillar, like about to emerge. Are you happy? You've got your little dinosaur in there. 
you happy? <laughs> I'm sure glad the kids are so excited. Just casually along the side of a road, it's a peacock. It was just a peacock walking around. What do you think, Pearly? What do you think? Bye then. Say bye, mister. Oh, cool. My hair looks really great. Oh, cool, guys. Looking so cool. Um, we're on our way to the shop to buy a razor because we're going swimming later. And Becky and I both realised both a bit yeti like. It was okay in the hot tub yesterday because it was just Liam and Dan, but I feel, what is happening here? What is happening? Um, just telling the world, Becky, that we're both a bit yeti like, so we're going to get a razor. Each one, each. We're not going to share one. Yeah, this is Becky. She's a yeti. Bet you're glad that you're on my vlog now, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> You know how I feel about a supermarket and the Centre Park supermarkets are no different. Freaking love them. Yes. Look at those strawberry tarts. Oh, Oreo donuts. And they've actually called it an Oreo donut. Normally they have to call it like cookies and cream, don't they? Oh, I can smell all the savoury bits as well. Here we go. Here's all the savoury bits. You can get like ready-made sub sandwiches. What are you? Oh, like a pasty. That's nice, Belly. Oh, if you're here to celebrate a birthday, which a lot of people come to this kind of stuff for a birthday or hen night, don't they? Or like a celebration. They've got all the stuff for you. We can't have balloons because Dexter, unfortunately, is allergic to latex. When you were a kid, was there any greater joy than when your mum bought the variety pack? God, I used to love that. If you forget any baby bits, they have got everything. They've got all the pouches, all the milk. Are you getting a cup? These are good. I haven't seen those before. Oh, oh, look who wrote an article. Oh, it's me. Should single mums give a fun love? Right next to my best friend there, Diana. Can you see it? Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. Pearly, look. Are you impressed? <laughs> Literally could not care less. Thanks, babe. There we go. Is that good? <laughs> Is that good? like sports place, there's a climbing wall and then in here they've got craft things for the little ones, they've got cupcake making and den adventures and all sorts of stuff um, but we're going to find Pearl some shoes. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. We've come to Bella Italia for summer lunch. What have you got? What have you got? The great thing about the restaurants here is we're literally sat just there and then over here we've got some soft play. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? Are you having fun? Oh my god.
gonna submit to it. It will do. We'll walk around long enough. So we finished at Bella Italia. It was so nice. And do you know what was impressive? Never have to think about this normally because we're lucky we don't have kids with allergies. But they were so good with Dex's allergies, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. They, they yeah, like listen to everything that like Dexter is allergic to. Is it fair to say? Basically everything. Basically, basically yeah. everything he's allergic to, bless him. Am I on the right setting? Yes. Um, but they cooked like chicken in a completely separate pan and they did chips in olive oil. They had a nice little time. The others have gone to get the bikes. Oh god. I feel there's so much exercise we're doing at the moment. We're going up a slight incline and I might as well be like trekking up Kilimanjaro. Yeah. So there, through the trees, are our cabins, the waterside lodges. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Well, it is a cabin. <laughs> it's made of logs. It's a log cabin of sorts. What would you call house. a boat house? Well, we don't have a boat though. We could. We've got a jetty. Did you bring your boat, Dan? Dan, do you uh, can you remember any any boat stories that we've got together? No. When we were little, Avington Park. Mm. Do you remember the rowing boats? And Judith, so my aunt Judith is Dan's mum, that's how it works, put us on these little rowing boats in a park and I must have been about six and you must have been about four. Pretty irresponsible really if I had to put a four year old and a six year old yeah, on a boat on their own. <laughs> and then Daniel started being hysterical and crying. Do you remember he stood up screaming and crying? And we had to be rescued. And I'm talking rescued in like two foot of water <laughs> in, in like a tiny pond. Do you remember it or no? I, I was probably a bit young for that one. This well, is the you've same ruined my whole story because... Leave my brother with a Greek man while they went on holiday. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll tell you about that later. Oh my god! <laughs> so, that one on the end is ours. That's where I stayed in the summer. They're so lovely. Hello, my friends. Gosh, I'm really, really leaning over here. Hello, friends. Are these more hens? I think so. And look at that. We've got one sleeping baby. Is he off? Yes, Two yes, sleeping yes. babies. We're free! We're free! We've had such a nice afternoon. The girls played, the babies slept. I had a lay down, read a magazine, watched some YouTube. It was lovely. And now we're going to go swimming. And I wanted to tell you a couple of my tips for confidence because even though it's not like, you know, Mauritius and a bikini, it's still swimwear. You're still like, probably bearing a lot more flesh than you would normally. I mean, I certainly am. And I think that that can make you feel really vulnerable. So I'm gonna tell you a couple of things I do to like try and, it doesn't get rid of that vulnerability. And I can't say in all honesty that I walk around like, hey, look at me. But also I can get myself to the point where I don't walk around being like, don't look at me. Um, especially as sometimes people recognise me from here and they come and say hello so quite often I do feel when I'm in my swimwear a, a extra vulnerable but these are things I do. Number one, get a costume with something a bit more to it. So this has sleeves and just these little short sleeves make all the difference to me. This is the only costume I've ever had with sleeves. Got it on ASOS. I'll link it. I think it was a bit more expensive than I'd normally pay for a cosy, but I was like, you know what, for those sleeves, I'll take it. Um, you can also get ones with little skirts. I've got a couple of those. I'll link some of those as well. They're really good. So I don't want to like show too much of myself, but I have pretty, hey there, thighs. Um, I would really like one with sleeves and a little skirt. So basically you're wearing like a little mini dress. If you're worried about boobies, you can also get ones with like a hidden bra. I don't have like massive boobs, so it's not really too much of a problem for me. Plus I'm just like, you know what? They're a little bit saggy, but I've had two children, so I'll take it. And my top tip is make this be a feature. So I like to wear a little headband or a bandana type thing. Um, so just a cheap one from H&M. And it's also good because it protects all the bottom of my hair from like going all fizzily in the water. I always wear studs, I always wear pearl earrings, they're like my little security blanket. If obviously some pools you can't wear any jewellery in, fine, but if you can, a little pair of earrings make a difference, and lipstick. I know this sounds so stupid, because why would you wear makeup in a pool? 
I'm not really one that's going to put my face under water a lot, so it's not like all my makeup's going to run. I just feel like if here to here is looking okay, it's almost like I've got my armour on and I can cope with not having my armour on down here. Um, so that makes a big difference. The last thing that makes a bit of a difference, which takes a bit of time to like tune your mind to, is just your mindset. And the sooner you start realising that no one cares about you except you, it's a lot easier. So for example, when I go into a pool, I don't look at all the other women and think, oh my god, look at her thighs. Oh, she's got a wobbly belly, or she's got um, big arms, or sm slim arms, or I can see all her bones, because people who aren't big also feel the same way as people who are big do, but for different reasons, or I don't look at anybody and think, ugh, I just think, eh, just people in a pool, I don't even really have a thought. And I think that we sometimes think that everybody is thinking of our worst bits just because we're thinking of our worst bits, but no one else is. Remember, these are just your flesh stick. Look, it's ghibli. It's ghibli. It's just flesh. It's just flesh on my bones. And one day I'll die and all that flesh will rot into the ground and nobody, nobody in their right mind will say in a hundred years time, if anyone remembers me, remember Louise Pentland? Oh, I do. She was nice, but she wasn't half chubby. No one cares. So I am gonna take myself to the swimming pool and I'm gonna just be like this. Oh, hi everybody. There's a lot of bum there. Oh, hi everybody. Yes, here I am. Right with Cosy. I'm okay with this. Sunday. It's like the olden days. I sat with my makeup on last night. It was a really late night. We, I didn't film anything more after the swimming pool because we were just so tired. Taking four children to a huge adventure swimming pool <laughs> takes a lot out of you. So we got back, put some oven pizzas in for the kids, um, and then they went to bed. And then we ha we ordered in. Um, and just relaxed and we had a glass of Prosecco and we sat and chit chatted and it was just really nice and we ended up going to bed quite late. It's now 19 minutes past 9 and honestly I'm having a cry because my weekly vlog that I uploaded, I don't know what's happened to it 
but I can't see any of the comments and I checked onto it and it says that it has been confirmed by manual review as in like the content has been confirmed by manual review and it says things like um, that there are depictions of firearms and that there are references to marginalised groups in a non-hurtful or comedic context or there are humans, humorous references um, education musical statements without glorifying or prompting drugs or other dangerous products but there aren't any humorous references to drugs or dangerous products and I haven't referenced any marginalised groups in a comedic context um, and I, I haven't depicted any firearms <laughs> um, uh, oh, there was another one as well mild violence injury or injury without showing blood or graphic content there's no mild violence it's a it's a woman it's me a pretty vanilla mother talking about writing a book and the book doesn't have those things in either so i don't know what's happened there but now youtube has flagged the video is dangerous and I've emailed my contact at YouTube to talk about, to, to say, I don't know why this happened, but I've just got so upset because I've been doing this for nine years and I know it might just look like just some fluffy videos, but I make such care to, uh, like, I, I don't break the rules. I'm a goody two shoes, <laughs> like, so I take such care to never, sometimes I edit out things. I think, oh God, that, that might be like viewed in, a, in the wrong way. I won't put that in. Do you think my videos are dangerous? <laughs> Do you watch these and feel danger in your heart? Um, so I've sat here now for like 40 minutes fretting over this um, and not spending time with the children while we were on holiday um, and now we're going to be late to go to the thing we wanted to go to we were just going to go, well we were only going to go swimming but we agreed we are going to go at 10 o'clock and now we're going to be late and haven't had breakfast and just, it's not, uh, I mean, it's not a huge problem I know but I think it's just because I care so deeply about these videos um, and have done for like almost a decade and then to, for it to be saying this I almost feel insulted that YouTube has suggested that I have made humorous references to um, marginalized groups or that I would have shown a firearm I don't even have a firearm anyway center parts is nice on a plus note, the view is beautiful. Let me show you that to try and like soothe over this. Let me show you. There we go. That is nice, isn't it? Blue skies, blue water, lovely. Just thought I'd do a Sunday OOTD for you because I am looking stylish today. We have got a top knot with no fun, so no dangly bits, no like I've just ooh, just woken up looking like ooh, so glamorous just pulled it back and put it in a knot we have got a swimming costume with sleeves we've got jeans with yogurt on them because they're the same jeans as yesterday and they still have yogurt on them and I don't want to baby wipe it off because it's cold outside I don't want to have cold cold crotch um, and that's the look that I'm going for today I'm going to put a jumper on over this and we're going to go swimming I think I'm going to take the GoPro but I feel like I filmed everything yesterday that I would film so if there's anything extra happens I'll film it if not see you um, afterwards we've not gone yet but look what we've just discovered the room does that's a bit snazzy wow wow still going still going yeah that was good we're off Day. We are now 
outside the sweetie shop. Curly's ready for a little sleepy. Are you ready for sleep? Aww. Um, and perhaps we'll go and have a look at what sweets there are on offer. That sounds like a great idea, doesn't it? Like, take four Should children it? who are hyped up to take them to a sweet. What's wrong with me? Offerings of the sweet shop include candy floss and chocolate bunnies, and Paw Patrol eggs, um, gourmet popcorn. We've got a mushroom full of candy canes, jelly beans. Oh my goodness, look how many lollipops. Pick a meat. Pick a meeks. Pick a meeks. Queens. What have you found, Doodles? Oh, you're trying to find your name. We never have Darcy and Pearl on anything. <gasps> There's an Evie though, look. Yeah. Evie, go show Evie. We've got like what I would call adult sweets. They're like honeycomb and fudge and you know. And then you've got like send your children absolutely hyped beyond belief sweets like nerds and what else would I radioactive sours my goodness I'm gonna say something to you really shocking now they don't have chocolate covered raisins what kind of an establishment doesn't have chocolate covered raisins in a pick and mix we've come out for a little walk Liam's my walking backwards cameraman are you enjoying that babe yeah yeah it's good I can't see anything yeah yeah <laughs> um we're gonna do you know what's making me nervous I'm I just gonna like do it, a yeah. selfie <laughs> Tried a new camera angle, didn't work. We'll just stick to selfie. We're gonna have a little walk around the whole of Elfdom. We've got Miss Pearlie with us, and Darcy's back at the lodge with the others. I think the danger when you come on holidays like this is, certainly for us anyway, you just tag team parent. And although you're with each other all the time, you're not really spending quality time having like chats. Like a lot of the stuff we want to talk about, we can't talk about in front of the kids. Pearl, you can, but. Darcy's like, here's everything. So, not that we're talking about weird things. You know what I mean, as parents, there's just certain things you just wait till they're not in earshot. Um, so, yeah, it's nice just to make a bit of time for each other. It's lovely that we've got Dan and Becky as well because then we can kind of like tag team with them and take theirs off sometimes and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Apologies for my hair looking like drowned rat's tail's hair. I was very brave at the pool. I went on the rapids. And I don't normally, I don't like to get my face wet. I wear contact lenses. Don't, I'm not super confident in the water, but Liam said, oh, you won't go under. That wasn't true, was it, babe? Was well, it? there was a requirement that you would move your legs, but you didn't. <laughs> um, and I went on the cyclone, like slide, and I thought that would be quite gentle. I thought it'd be like, like the lazy river, but a bit more that we went on in America. It wasn't like the lazy river at all. It was terrifying. Or the rapids. No, the cyclone I'm talking about. That was really frightening. <laughs> but we did it. I screamed like like you've never heard anyone scream going down that. Um, I would love to know if you have been on the same thing and what you thought of it. Does anybody know what kind these are? Because they look like cute log cabins. Are these like the two bedroom ones or are they executive ones? I don't know. So lovely here. Side note, my hands are so small that I'm wearing Darcy's gloves because I forgot mine. What a bonus to having tiny, tiny child hands. Can you hear Pearl singing? <laughs> oh, Pearlie, should we see some ducks? This is lovely. Gosh, how nice if you had ones over there that backed onto this lake. Yeah, that would be gorgeous. That would be gorgeous, wouldn't it? See all the birds and everything. On our walk, we have found the back of the cyclone. That is what I slid through. It's like you go down a tube and then you go into this great big huge bowl and then plop through the bowl. Terrifying. We are home, home on the range. We're back from our little walk. <laughs> I don't know how you would squeeze extra activities in. You know you can book activities, because it's almost four o'clock. And we literally got up, went swimming, had lunch, had a walk, and that's what's done. I'm gonna go into the lounge, see what everyone's up to. We've got Spaniel, Dexter, Doodles, 
We've got an Eevee. Oh, what have you got? A new LOL doll. I've got a Pixie doll. A Pixie doll. That sounds good. Oh. And we've had, oh, is this from the Pixie doll? Loads of Play-Doh. It's getting dark already. I was just saying to Liam, how has the day gone so quickly? No, no. Should we sit down on the floor? These ladies, even though it's four o'clock and it's getting dark outside, you can see from the window, are going in the hot tub. And Liam is crazy enough to be the one taking them in. Don't come in shop, babe. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that much flesh on camera. Are you worried you're going to be a bit cold? No. no. Can I ask why you want to go to the hot tub when we've been to the great big leisure centre pool for about eight hours this trip? Well, I love it's, hot tubs. It's mm. because it's nice and warm in a hot tub and, and I love it. It's really nice and it's nice outside. Nice outside? Nice, yeah. It's freezing cold. No, 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 go and have a nice and time. It's peaceful. It was and peaceful. I don't mind about the cold. I, just I don't it. even freeze. I'm like Elsa. I don't even mind if I'm in the cold. I just mind if I go in the hot tub. We bought Pearly Scuttlebug. Is that good? Are you enjoying that? Is that fun? Oh, she thinks I'll go and get that leaflet. That looks like... What's on? I've been to your eye. What are you doing? Are you tired? There's one over there. Why are you so cute? I can't bear it. Are you having a good time? Aren't you cold? <sighs> Time to start packing up. I'm sad. I want to stay here longer. Are you, are you licking him? Hello? Mrs. Are you licking your cousin? Off she goes. <laughs> are you going to get him? Are you going to get him? Becky and I are tidying it. What time is it? About <laughs> half five, six-ish. Basically, I don't know how this yeah. has happened, but Becky and I have been left with all four children and the task of cleaning up upstairs, downstairs. Liam's having a... In fairness, Liam's doing all the driving back. What, what's Daniel doing? Very good question. <laughs> watching TV. Um, watching TV. What's Daddy doing, Evie? Um, chillaxing and being a smelly boy. <laughs> Chillaxing and being a smelly. That's about right. Evie, you've got the sum of it. This room's packed. We're getting all the stuff here packed up. The girls are coming up. Our room is empty. Becky's lumbered with the babies again. <laughs> are you having a good time emptying out her bag? Good Dexter just like, I'm chilling. Chilling. Chilling on my tablet. I never understand how you pack like four bags yeah and it just explodes out like how do we have so much stuff yes 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 yeah no no the high chairs came with it yeah um yeah how is it that how is it that you only bring a boot full of stuff but you can fill a house like like your bags are, are tiny tardises and then everything just and then getting them back in again is trying to get like it's like trying to get a pack of printer paper back in the wrapping c'est impossible Right, we are all packed up and ready to go. All the lights are switched off and the cars are loaded. It seems so bare. I feel like I've been here for so long. Let's grab my maternity cushion. Oh, let's chuck that away. And off we go. Say bye bye, house. Bye bye, lodge. Hopefully, see you again soon or one like you. Bye bye.